Hi, I'm Joan Rivers, and today we're going to be discussing nudism, so get undressed, all of you out there, because <laughs> coming in to talk with me is Lucy Hansen, an owner of a nudist camp, and Johnny Carson, and I don't know why he's here. <laughs> That show, starring Joan Rivers, with her guests, Lucy Hansen and Johnny Carson. Ladies and gentlemen, Joan Rivers. Today, as you heard me say, we're going to talk about nudism, and I, I went to a nudist camp. I, actually, I should explain, I never liked anything like this, you know, because I'm, but today everybody's like on a big health kick. I don't know if you're aware of this. My mother, who never did anything, suddenly got herself an electric roller, and every day she's in there with the hips, you know, but she stayed in an hour too long yesterday, and her so thighs fused together. But uh, <laughs> even Edgar, my husband, suddenly has started to jog home every night from the office, not because so much he likes to jog, but he comes home through Central Park, and it's a lot safer if you know New York. And uh, I, I don't like, um, I'm not a doer, like some women are like, you know, out there with a tennis racket. I don't even, even to lie in the sun is too much. To me, a health worshiper is a Jewish mother, you know? A health, can we take that again? To me, uh, to, no, I don't like to do anything like that, because like, um, to me, even lying in the sun is too much, you know? To, to me, a sun worshiper is a Jewish mother. <laughs> oh, sure, turn against me. <laughs> you can do better. But, uh, but, uh, so finally, um, I decided I should do something with myself because uh, Edgar looked me over and we're married three years. And he said to me, like, you know, whatever happened to that slim, stunning girl I married, the one that was so full of personality? And I said, she's in Newark living there with her husband and five kids. <laughs> so uh, I figured I should do something to pull myself together. And I decided I should go to a nudist camp. To two reasons. One, we got it free because of the woman on the show. And two, it's a great way. You want to go to a nudist camp, no packing, just, you know, there you are. And, uh, uh, it, it's true. You don't have to worry what are the women going to wear. You just know, you know, wash yourself and that's it. And uh, a little perfume and hi, guys. But uh, <laughs> reminds me of some office parties I know. But, uh, <laughs> but anyhow, uh, it's funny for, for me to go because I'm basically very, very shy. But really, like, I'm... Like, I, I never get into a bathing suit. I, when, I, when I take a shower, I wear a body socky, which is a very shy person. And uh, I had never been to a nudist camp, but I, so I figured I'd take my hairdresser, Mr. Phyllis. I figured, you know, take a girlfriend, have a good time. So uh, he, he was thrilled. He didn't say anything, but I could tell, because he showed up at the bus terminal completely undressed. And uh, we get there, and the first thing they make you do, you can't walk in, this is true, without... You know, they take away all your clothes, which I didn't mind, but they shaved my dog. And that kind of, like, got me nervous. And you're suddenly, you're walking around, you know, pretending you have a pocketbook. And uh, I, thought I, I thought I was going to catch cold, so I went to the nurse and I said, give me three aspirin, and I try to wear them. But, uh... <laughs> It's not like, a lot of people think like nudism is dirty. It's not because once you've seen two nudists, you've seen them all. And it becomes like a very, yes, yes. Because fa families come together, which is very nice. The whole family comes. We'll discuss that later. And it's nice. You see the mother and father sitting under the trees reading. And you see the children running around playing show and tell. And it's a very nice experience. <laughs> Lucille Hansen, who is the owner and operator of the Circle H. H. Circle H Ranch. Where is that? In, on Dewey Lane in Glen Gardner, New Jersey. And you feel that nudism, everyone should go in for nudism? Oh, sure. Why? Because it is good for the health, it is good for the, the mental aspect, and it is good for the all-around well-being. I gather your husband is not a dress designer. Definitely not. <laughs> uh, what can I say? Just... Really, I'm just insane about him. He's just a wonderful man. The biggest star on television today. My privilege to present to you my very close friend, Mr. Johnny Cost.
That's why I became a comedian. Lucy, how are you? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you two know each other. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Have you ever been to a... <laughs> 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 a class interview right away. <laughs> and, uh, all right, now... Have you ever been to a nudist camp? No, I haven't. Never have. Why not? Why not? Uh, seriously, why not? Uh, I don't know. I think if you're going to be naked, you ought to be naked with one other person and, if possible, uh, somebody from a different sex than you are. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a wife? Yeah, I have a wife. That's what I meant. But well, I think... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, if he hasn't, she hasn't either, because you have to bring the your spouse, man or uh, woman, has to bring uh, a man has to bring his wife, and the you wife don't have has a to bring his husband. Weekend or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, very often. We do, do have take, a yeah, we do have singles, but we take them on a uh, male single quota, uh, so that it is very hard to get single girls to come out to a nudist camp. Yes. <laughs> Not some of my friends. Hard to get Charlie. single nudist girls to come anyplace. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, How did you get started? Well, my husband uh, persuaded me. By, uh, <laughs> after all, that's the only way... I mean, like, what made you decide? I, you didn't say, gee, when you were growing up, I want to own a nudist camp. I mean, no, definitely That not. started when puberty hit? Or, I mean, when did you, <laughs> when did you well, decide? Well, don't forget, Joni, that I was one, uh, the oldest of ten children. I was, my mother is... There were no American. clothes left, was that? <laughs> <laughs> sort of like that. Some of us went around with no bottoms and, and the top, and others, you know, we shared and shared alike in many things, and so nudity was not one of those things. On Saturday night, we always took a bath together, boys and girls, because the... The family. The country, the country house had a big bathtub, yeah. Joni, you know. But what I mean is, like, how did you decide to go into... So it didn't nudity? mean anything to me about nudity as much as it would mean to other people who didn't ex experience it. This thing, yes. you see? But your parents were dressed when they bathed you. Well, you all jumped oh, in yeah. together. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. They That's were always dressed. Because I had a friend whose parents felt like uh, the children should know. And uh, she turned out a little strange. I don't want to go into it. She killed her bookie. What, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do out when, when you go there? I in a nudist camp. What do you do? <laughs> well, John, you don't play tennis and jump over no, the net. No, <laughs> I don't. I don't know about you. Uh, no, what do you what do you do there really? Well, they uh, they swim, and it's like every any other resort except the clothing is optional. They have a dining room. They eat. They sleep there. They have cabins. Uh, they have uh, volleyball courts, tennis courts. The general thing that you would find in any other resort, except that people go there to be nude. Not all the time. Oh, Don't forget all... the yeah. old sun up there can be murderous, so and they're not sure, sun worshippers. They do wear clothing if they get sunburned. They do, uh, you know. I'm sure there's, a, there's, there's, many yeah. there's many things yes. that uh, women have yes. to wear clothing for. Yes. Too, you yes. Know. I mean, what about Saturday not... night? Like, if you're single, you want to dress up. What do you wear? A baggy? I mean, what do you wear? <laughs> Single girl, and I was going to a nudist camp, which I I'd didn't wear try. a baggy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. wear a baggy. I wish I'd known about you because when I was 27, I was trying anything. You know, that was. A... You know what would bother me? Talking to people. You, you don't know where to look. <laughs> I mean, isn't that a hazard? I mean, no, to overcome. Because you, you no, because um, <laughs> oh, yes, it is. oh, Joni, no, because you. Uh, <laughs> the idea is that you forget that they're nude. You forget you're nude after a while. How? What's a while? Well, five minutes is the, is, is the limit of, of Serious, cause I know, getting acclimated. Yeah. Let's, let's try it, shall we? <laughs> I don't think that they'd allow it. They wouldn't allow it. No, no but, but five minutes would be, you would become acclimated in five minutes. Then you, you look at people. We're not blind. We look at each other, but we see the whole thing. That's what Not we just part of it. <laughs> That's all right. Uh. No. Uh, when, <laughs> I don't think, Joni, you have much to worry about. Oh, are you kidding? Let's, we have a commercial, and then I'll show you during the commercial why I wouldn't go new. <laughs> so, it's the audience to each other. Now, these are the rates. Right now, may I ask you something? It says here, quote, uh, for a family or single men, $75 a day. For single girls, oh, 16 A year. Oh, a year? $75 a year. This is a membership. 
rate for the full year, 12 months out of the year. What does that entitle you to? <laughs> the, uh, uh, a lot of pictures. To the, to the <laughs> they get you in. Yeah, they get you in. They get your big toe in. May I say, now you do. <laughs> I'm not going to touch any lines right now. <laughs> yeah, you do a play. Now, what is the play? You give a play called we, Every Year We Give the Play, Barely Proper. Uh, it was written. Done with <laughs> Very okay. proper is very funny, and Jody should be acting in it. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> they thought I was trying after the man lead, you know. <laughs> no, but I don't have the, the actors are nude. The audience is clothed, but the actors are nude. This is Sounds a like nudist British village. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nudist philosophy play yeah. written by Tom Cushing many years ago, 1929, and. Uh, we put it on every year, and we get, oh, we put on about every Saturday night for about five performances, and it is always sold out. I bet it <laughs> oh. is. <laughs> I know a lot of the guys that go there. Yeah. But that's, the audience screams, put it on. Uh. But, uh, and what happens? And, like, people can come in and just see the play. Oh, and yes. And, and, said... and it's so funny to watch the audience, really. Uh, one, you know, the man comes out with a tennis racket in his hand. Tennis, anyone, you know. And he's, and he's completely nude. And the women, you know, are going, look at you, you know. And uh, then it quietens down a little. And after that, you see, the first, the maid comes out, the German maid with her cakes and her coffee. You can tell it's not the butler. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's got a very transparent apron. Yes. So, so what happens is that the wife is putting her hands up against the guy's eyes. She don't want him to see the pretty girl, you know, because we do pick our prettiest for these roles. Well, and, uh, well, sure, after all. We're trying to sell nudism to well, someone most, who's But most people with their clothes off are not very attractive anyway. You're telling me. John, really? this is not true. Oh, oh just all you have stand to do is in front the of beach, a mirror. You know. Exactly. Oh, no, you really find, like, the average person is a knockout nude? Well, I mean, <laughs> yes, I have seen some knockout nudes, but you are right as far as the anatomy is concerned because we have many flaws. Yes. But let me continue with this play barely proper. After... After the whole, uh, the woman, you know, and they settle down, and they finally get down to, and they forget, the audience n forgets that the people are nude on that stage. Have you taken a survey? They, yes, I, I have. I would never forget. Well, one. they forget that the people are nude. The play is very funny, and it's very hilarious. Consequently, they, f they follow the plot, and they forget that the, there is nude bodies up there. Do you They're have really open nude. auditions? <laughs> like no. But it's open. I know it. Now, I next would, year. Uh, no, I, I feel very, I wouldn't like, uh, I would never go near a nudist camp. I feel very, I feel like um, you dress to look good, don't you think? I think the, you know. Yes, but you, unless you, but when you're dressed like this, Joan, and you've got clothing on right now, you, you may think well in them, but can you, Think of how much better you could think without them. No, all I know I'll is... Bet you your best thinking is done in bed at night. <laughs> yeah, well, hardly. <laughs> but... <laughs> Well, isn't, isn't, it, isn't that a form of exhibitionism, though? People go to those places? No, Johnny, it isn't, because each... Uh, well, define the word exhibitionism in the first place, and uh, if everyone... Exhibitionism? Is, well, this there are three or four kinds, you know, people yeah. who draw attention to themselves, who are uh, constantly being drunk in some bar and a big loudmouth, is just as much an exhibitionist as the man who exposes his body for shock purposes. In Central Park? Yes. <laughs> you see, in a nudist park... Is he a member? The people are all nude, so there is no... No shock value, so it, it, they're not exhibiting themselves to shock someone or to make them uh, to to be obnoxious to other people. No. What are the qualifications to get in? Like, I'm sure you must get a lot of strangies that right away for the brochure and crayon. Yeah, we, yeah, we sure do this. Yeah, <laughs> send me the brochure and a plain brown wrapper. You know, so, I'm, so, so how do you decide, like... Well, we just look at... Who, who is sincere and who isn't. So long as it's Mr. and Mrs. and, they, and they're over 21. And it's a man and a woman. A man and a woman. And they're up. married and so forth. And they show up at the gate. Yeah. Uh, we have a speaker at our gate. And when they show up at the gate, uh, we send someone out to the gate to sort of scrutinize them, and they look like nice people, and they're very sincere. We allow them to come in and look around. So, why don't you come and see for yourself? <laughs> Just carry a guitar. I'm not, I'm not ready for that. Babe. Just hope it isn't a ukulele we got around. There's another commercial coming up, so we'll be right back. Hang on. One second. We are now going to go into the audience, and I'm going to get questions for either Mrs. Hansen or Mr. Carson. 
on nudism. So has anyone got a question that you'd like to ask? Yes. This is directed to Mrs. Hansen. What is the best way to go about joining a nudist colony? Go uh, about nude. But I'm single. <laughs> single girl. Good. What you do is <laughs> you write me a letter and ask me for an invitation, and I will send you a brochure and a map and a price list. Does she have to send a snapshot or anything? Uh, no. Where does she write to? Circle H? Circle H Ranch, Dewey Lane, Glen Gardner, New Jersey. In Glen Gardner, New Jersey. She's going to write. Isn't that cute? That's a... And who else? At least you'll know. If it... oh, yes, that's a... <laughs> Show. Yes. I would like to ask Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson. Yes, dear. Can you see? Yeah. Sure. What kind of people do you think go to a nudist colony? Uh, Mrs. Hansen says it's mainly husbands and wives. I don't know. I've never, I've never been there. Mainly nude. <laughs> the only thing I've ever seen, I've seen some of those nudist magazines. But I think a lot of those are professional models, aren't they? Uh, not all of them, but some of them are. There's but not two. There are. Some magazines are not really nudist magazines, such as they're sort of going on the guise of nudist magazines. Because I know I, in your brochure, I mean, they look like real people, and one had a tattoo. That's right. So I noticed that, yeah. They are uh, real people. Anybody else? Questions, questions, questions. Yes. I'd like to ask Mrs. Hansen, how do they keep, how do you keep from catching cold? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... If a virus is there, a virus is there, but I haven't had a cold in uh, quite some time, and I go nude winter and summer, and I don't have cold. We build a resistance to this. Uh, the body is made of an inbuilt thermostat, and many times people who go s skiing in the nude... Uh, <laughs> can, can you imagine you're marching along with a dog and you see a oh. nude skier? <laughs> You throw away the whiskey, that's it. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, this is for Johnny Carson. Do you know anyone who belongs to a nudist colony? No, I don't. <laughs> well, none of my friends that I know of. Maybe they, maybe they don't tell me. You just never know sometimes. Can I ask anybody else? Yes. This might be a rather annoyed question, but... For who? Which one? Huh? Oh, for Mrs. Hansen. Uh, do many people who uh, attend these wish to remain anonymous? Yes. Uh, we go ah. on first name basis only, and the only one who has your name and address is the club owner. And if you feel that you'd like to give out your name and address Tattoo to on someone your else, <laughs> you may do so. But we are not permitted to. You go anonymously. Yes. Are the no, members but, but, allowed to exchange your The names members are allowed to exchange among themselves, yes. but we are not allowed to give it out. I, even the law cannot demand it. No, which is fair. It's fair. It's a private club. You can do That's what right. you want. That's My right. goodness. Anybody else? Anybody? Front row? Yes. Can you scream it, though? Because you're way over there. Mrs. Hanson, do you have a motto? <laughs> I, I would like to say right here now, we do not write these questions. That's a... How about here come the judge? <laughs> Uh. But we do have, Circle H Ranch is a nude ranch, not a dude ranch. <laughs> that's a cute answer, but the question was better. Uh, that's, uh, anybody else? The lady, in, the lady in the polka dot dress. Yes, wait, wait. I'd like to ask Mrs. Hansen if she's ever annoyed by Peeping Tom. Very, very few times. For, that, for the reason is that we do have state police barracks in Clinton, New Jersey, which is only about three minutes away. And the police come and protect you? That's right. How can you tell the police? <laughs> <laughs> they just pin the badge on their forehead. <laughs> a lot of... I, I'm a policeman, sure, sure. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, yes, yes, yes. Mrs. Hansen. No, nothing for Johnny again. Go oh, on. What kind of an examination should a person take before they go to a nudist colony? An yeah. eye examination. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Check the eye. Is there any... Nothing? One more over here. Yes. Wait a second, wait a second. To get on camera. Oh, what do they do for pockets? <laughs> <laughs> what do they do for pockets? I wish they'd find a place. I wish they'd find a place like a little kangaroo or something, because they don't are you, have them. Are you allowed to carry anything? You, the wife carries the pocketbook. They carry their cigarettes in the top of their, their uh, thing or their hat bands. They carry things in the hat That's band. a strange look. <laughs> stay, don't take it in a heavy hat. We'll be right back, so stay tuned for the commercial.
shopping, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. We have had quite a few marriages, Let's discuss Joey. this. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. All right, we're, we're closed up, but you were just saying, before we go, Mrs. Hanson, that single girls meet... Meet their husbands at nudist camps quite often. We have had five or six marriages in the last year. The year before that, we Where had eight or ten. Where the bride the veil? Oh, <laughs> well, they don't get married at the camp, but they, they meet just, they there. They meet at the camp. Oh, yes, they meet there. I want to thank you very much. It's the Circle H Ranch. It's Mrs. Hanson, proprietor. You can write away for the brochure and more information if you're interested. And thank you for coming on. Thank you Actually, the Clinton and police are only two and a half minutes. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you I can't thank again. You're always oh, okay. coming and doing me favors. So I just, I hope one day you have your own show and I'll come on anytime <laughs> you want. If you'd like to see the show when you're in New York, write Joan Rivers, Box 850, Radio City Station, 10019. Miss Rivers' guests stay at the Hotel Roosevelt while in New York.